Ooh, what's up, Target Nation? Steelers, here we go. Favorite say Broncos. Historically black college football. East Carolina Pirates football. What's up, people? How you doing tonight? Merry Christmas on this Christmas Eve. Listen to my boy Biggie. Oh. Yeah, I'm a big papa. Baby. Baby. Straight up, honey, really, I'm asking. Most of these niggas think they be acting, but they be acting. They tried to win that dime. Besides, the sneak up on the high. Yeah. And you still ain't got no haircut, man. All right. Let's talk about this clips in uh, Ohio State game. I'm going to be real with you. Tell Gary to pick. My heart says clips of the course because I'm a Tiger fan. Been a Tiger fan since 1980. That uh, Ohio State team is bad. Uh, you know, you listen to the media talk. Me is like, oh, you know, Clips they ain't played nobody this year. Blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you what I think about Ohio State schedule. Um, I forget who they played in the non-conference this year. Cincinnati. Um, that was a non-conference. Uh, I don't think Ohio has lost to a in-state school in over like 70 years or something like that. Um, I don't think Cincinnati was a great non-conference win. Um, they talk about uh, Ohio State schedule. Uh, Wisconsin to me is one dimensional. They only got Taylor. Um, Michigan, uh, they had a bunch of damn screw-ups up there. I mean, they even said it, their offense, their, uh, their offense, has a lot of issues because they don't have no speed at receiver to run that speed of space. Penn State, I, I don't think they had a good quarterback. I mean, they struggled with Pitt. I mean, I don't think Penn State was all that this year. Uh, you know, I think I talked about Wisconsin. So I don't think the Big Ten is as good as people make it out to be. Um, I think they're, people might say, well, they're, they got better teams than um, ACC. Probably so, probably so. It's sub for us, but I don't think they have as much speed as the ACC. You remember um, back in the day, USC and uh, um, Michigan used to play? And um, they went to like 10 straight Rose Bowl, I think. Michigan was like two and eight on Rose Bowls and stuff like that. And that was speed was the difference. Now, don't get me wrong. Ohio State has tremendous speed. They have a lot of talent. They get a lot of players out of Florida and Texas. But the teams that they play in the Midwest get their talent out of the Midwest areas. Um, I'll go take it like this. Kentucky, who has been on the rise for a while right now, right? The reason why Kentucky's on the rise is because Ohio State doesn't recruit the state of Texas. I mean, they don't recruit the state of Ohio like they used to. They they let a lot of those players go off to other schools in Kentucky, um, like Kentucky, Cincinnati, or some other place. And... Uh, and so Ohio State speed is different from what they see in a what they see their opponents in the B ten in. And what I'm saying is that and I know uh what's the quarterback name Fields. Uh he plays uh, uh he played in the SEC last year, so he's gonna be used to the speed. Um, that Clemson has, but 
what the rest of the players do. I mean, Ohio State's going to go up against a team that has just as much speed of athletes as they do. Wisconsin, I, I, I don't get me wrong, Wisconsin beat Miami with the last two years of the bowl game. <coughs> but Wisconsin doesn't have the the speed of Florida State or Texas A&M. I know Florida State is awful, but at the same time, if you look at the recruitment services the last, what, two or three years, they don't have top 25 recruit classes compared to Wisconsin. So they still have a lot of speed and talent. And I'm making that point to say is that um, Wisconsin, Ohio State might have played more, might have played better teams, but they haven't really played teams that have speed and athleticism like they're going to see with Clemson. Clemson does see some type of athleticism and speed like with Texas a and uh, Florida State, uh, who's another school that has some talent that they they might have seen. You know, uh, North Carolina, if you look at their recruit classes, they done have some pretty good recruit classes. Now, they've been terrible under Fedora for the last two years before Matt Brown took over. But uh, they do have some talent out there, man. Um, but at the same time, I know what you're going to hear and what you're going to see, who has close to beat. Uh, that all of that doesn't matter anymore. I was trying to figure out why Vegas is saying that close to the negative 2.5, and I'm going to tell you why. That offensive line has played against Alabama for the last three or four years, and Alabama has some of the best defensive linemen who paid? I can't remember the other guy. He uh, he went to Washington. They might be paying, but uh, a couple other guys. They have played against everybody. I mean, the most talented um, defensive line since they were freshmen, like uh, Polly and and um, who's my other boy name? Uh, um, Simpson. All and. Uh, uh, I can't remember, Abercut, Karki, whatever the name is, they done seen it. They done seen it all. And um, I think they're going to be ready for Ohio State defensive line. I think that's why they put them up there as a negative 2.5. But let me tell you, if K.J. Henry and Xavier Thomas, Maskell, uh, Murphy, uh, not Mercy, Murphy, uh, Randolph, they don't step up at the defensive line position, defensive end position, get some pressure on fields. We gonna be in for a long night. I think we could cover one on one, but I don't think we should be trying to blitz Ohio State, which you know Biddles are gonna do. Clips have just seen it all. I mean. Tua, everybody was talking about how great Tua is. And don't get me wrong, I think Fields is a great quarterback. But I don't think Fields is on the level <coughs> of Tua and those receivers that they have. And he's close to secondary who return just about everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Already seen the best the nation had to offer in somebody like Tua. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they're gonna be used to that. That that off that secondary is gonna be used to seeing what Ohio State had to sit out there. That's why you know at first I wonder why why Vegas put them as a negative two point five favorite. Clips. I'm like experience. And people say, well, that was last year. That was the January. Almost uh, what's a couple months. Uh, 12 months ago. But they still done seen it the last year. I mean, who has a better receiver crop than uh, than two of them boys? Nobody. Eclipse is going to be ready for that. <sighs> and don't get me wrong. I, I don't know what Phil's condition is. 
I heard a newspaper report say that he's 80 to 85 percent. Um, so, you know, Clemson might be able to get a lot of pressure on him. So I think that's going to be another thing um, to look at. That's why they favor Clemson. And I'm not over, over confident Clemson is going to win this game. In my heart, I want them to win. But Ohio State is a great team. I give them the utmost respect. But Clips is going to come after Fields if he is hurt, and they're going to test him out. And they're going to key on Dobbins. They say, Fields, you run the ball. And they're going to try to get him to tweak that ball, tweak that hell shirt and get some more. <laughs> so it's going to be a great, um, it's going to be a great game. I really think it is. I mean, I'm not gonna. I, I want to say Clips is gonna win, but Ohio State's tough, man. All right, have a great night.